Hey, what's good? Dean Cow here. Today we're gonna to be mixing down low ends. Um, yeah, no fucking around. Let's get straight into it. All right, so here I've got a track that I've been working on. Right now I'm trying to just get the kick and the bass line sitting right. So let's just have a little listen to the track. the general gist of it so the first thing i'm hearing straight away is that the bass line is very strong and the kick isn't so i've got the kicks going into one bus and then the bass is all going into another bus here and uh so i've got two kicks going into this kick mix and i've got three bases going into this bass mix here um yeah we're gonna have a listen just to see how they sound in context oh yeah this claim one i made all the changes and edits already and um turns out i wasn't recording so uh, yeah, I've just turned off all the plugins that I had on there. So we're going to start with the, the bass line because I think it's just very, very heavy. It's coming in very strong. So I've got three basses. This is my wide bass. And you can see here, I've just scooped out the low end and added a bit of EQ. Again, just to scoop out the low end, literally just to take that energy away. Uh, a bit of now this, this plugin is uh is also free acon digital a little chorus -y stereo imaging effect it's um sounds great if i'm honest um yeah go check it out if you don't have it already uh, a bit of compression light compression going in and a bit of it going out slightly different times just a bit of soft, soft compression i never want to do too much and finally a bit of envelope bar just to cut out that tail here we've got the sub bass it's not really doing much it's just more for feel and rhythm than anything else and finally the organ bass which offers most of the tone and it's the main sound that i'm going for yeah let's just sort out the bass line first so here on this bass mix i added uh, a bit more eq just to uh, take out more of the lows again. You might not be able to hear it on like headphones or laptop speakers, but it does sound, the bass line sounds a bit more cleaner, even though I've taken the subs away. This is off. Yeah, so just taking out them lows and uh, them that that low energy and um, the bass can really help to find the bass line above the rest of the mix. And then next here, I've got a bit of compression going in. I'll AB that on and off just so you can hear the difference. So it's very, very, very low in the mix. I mean, you, you can barely notice it, but I just think it just, just a little bit of seasoning. That's all that's needed. Uh, next, we had a bit of max bass. Um, I actually played around with this a little bit. I'm not sure if I liked it. That's, uh, yeah, that's yet to be decided. I mean, this is a Waves plugin. Um, I came with the gold bundle that I got in, in the sale. I mean, it's a great plugin. It doesn't just boost your bass frequencies. It 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 adds like, you know, what? I'm just gonna show you. It adds a bit of tone to it, like high end tone to it. It's really nice. Yeah, 
so you, yeah, you see what I mean. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it off for now. But I also got another second compressor here, just to tie it in a little bit more because I find um, because the baseline is quite bouncy, I don't want it all over the place. And the settings I've got on this one is just a bit of a faster attack and release. Again, I'll AV that on and off. Off. So this second one, yeah, faster attack time, much higher limiting. Um, I think this should be my side. Yes, this is my side chain one. This is my side chain. This is gonna. This ducks the baseline anytime the kick comes through. So if we just solo these, you see that it reduces. It's got a bit of gain reduction every time the kick hits, just to give a bit. Of Clarity to the kit. And finally, what was this BG for? I don't even know. Ah, yeah, this was just a demonstration. I, I, I didn't actually do this. So, yeah, so with the baseline, I just uh, took out some of the lows. The sub, I think, might need a bit more control. So um, yeah, so here's the kick main. I've turned off all the plugins, and this is how it sounds. Very boomy, quite muddy at the low end, with a little bit of kick. My first plugin is uh, I've got an RQ, an R6. Uh, yeah, just scan scoop, scooping at the lows, a bit at the mids. See, with just a bit of EQ, it's sounding a little bit tighter and not as all over the place as it was before. And then secondly, I've got an Enveloper. Uh, Enveloper, I think, is one of the, my favorite, it's probably one of my most used plugins. Just to give it a bit of shape, um, this one's super tight, no attack, no tail end, just, yeah, to the point kick. And then we've got a second EQ again. Just a bit more slope, and again at that mid. That's a bit off. You see, it's just a little bit tighter. Just a little bit tighter. I uh, also got this VX sub filter on here to add some subs to the kick, but I just have that there just to check out the sound, see if it gives a nice tone. And Sometimes it works, most of the time it doesn't, but um, especially for like the naked tracks, it's uh, it really gives um, some punch to the low end, so use this sparingly. Again, it's a free plugin, I'm giving you all the source here, another free great plugin for you to use. Um, yeah, honestly, this plugin gets this, this plugin gets slept on, man. Anyways. A little bit muddy if I have it on. I've got the click of the kick at the top here. 
Yeah, so that's taking care care of the top end kick so I can have it coming through the mix, but um so that's why I scooped out the highs on the on the main kick. Yeah, see now that's that that kick's got some really nice nice punch to the chest to it. Yeah, finally anytime I add one of those gain plugins that, that does stuff for the signal, I tend to put another compressor on it just to tame the just to tame the transients a little bit. This is off. This one. It's not doing much, not much at all. Just a little bit to tame it. And this RQ, this was just here for A, B, and C. Yeah, and um, don't ever mix in solo. That was just uh, so I can go through some of the plugins with you. Yeah, let's have another listen. It sounded much better, but I still think the bass line is coming through a bit too strong and the kick is still a little bit muddy. It's not coming through the mix as much. So let's start with the kick. Uh, here you can see I just had some channel EQ, which did wonders. Here's uh, so this is affecting both of the kicks, the low end and the top one. Here's what it off. Yeah, I'll solo it so you can hear it. So much more clarity. All right, so I think now I'm going to sort this bass. That kick sounding all right, though. Yeah, I think honestly it might have just been the case of just turning down that bass. And then finally, um, just to see what's going on, I, I like to put a C4 compressor at the end of them on my stereo bus just so like you can do this with any any plugin any multiband compressor that allows you to solo the low end um just so i can hear what's going on but another way to do this is you can actually just use the channel eq and then low pass everything just to see what's going on So now I hear the bass line and the sub. Yeah, as it's a dance housey track, I think it definitely that kick needs to come through a bit more. So I think I might end up scooping even more this lower end of the bass out. Sorry if I'm not narrating what I'm doing it, so I'm, I'm not used to <laughs> doing this sort of stuff. But um, yeah, so I've got a second compressor on the bass, just uh, working as a side changer, so it ducks down the bassline signal every time the kick comes through. Balance is starting to sound there. Alright, I 
think it's, it's yeah, the balance and the toy, I think the balance is there now. Yeah, I just did a bit of that sub bass because I feel still think it was too much subs coming through on the. Now, I'm a bassist, so I think the bass line should be there, but um, yeah, for the type of track it is, I really feel that you know, the, the kick drum is the most important thing. Yeah, a lot of people will say, you know, the kick sit at you know X frequency and the bass line sit at Y frequency, and it's just like. Honestly, it depends on the bass line, it depends on the kick, it depends on the track, it depends on the genre, it depends on the sample. There's so many variables that I honestly think that there's no one way of saying, oh yeah, it kicks at this this frequency, you know, you know, cut it out of here. You know, just best advice I have is just use your ears, use your ears, trust your ears. Um, um, A B on different monitors, different headphones, different speakers. Listen to it on TV speakers and just. And just really just get to know your mixes, get to know your room as well, actually. Um, I'm starting to feel like I'm rambling. Yeah, if you have any questions, tips, advice, do the YouTube thing and leave a like and subscribe and a comment, if you will. If you liked it, liked it. If you don't, say it with chest. Leave a comment. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.